welcome to the 14th annual Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday parade celebration presented by Foreman Mills and produced by Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake, the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts, and the Baltimore Office of Civil Rights and Wage Enforcement. I'm your host, Alvin Gillard. We're here today to celebrate the life, legacy, and vision of one of the greatest Americans who's ever lived. We're here in Baltimore City for the 14th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade Celebration. Hey, man. Folks, we're here with Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. Mayor, what do you think about the parade today? This is the 14th one, and the weather is great. The weather is wonderful. I'm so glad to be here with our governor, with our lieutenant governor, with Congressman Sarbanes, with State's Attorney Greg Bernstein, Councilman Pete Welch, so many people from the community who are out here. I could not be happier. And thank you so much for all of your hard work and putting this together. Absolutely. Now, how about the generational aspect of it? We see uh, grandparents, parents, children. It's just wonderful to see the mix that we have today. That's what I love about this. It brings out the whole community. It is a way that, you know, families can come together, remember the legacy, and celebrate Baltimore's history as well. Great. Thanks so much. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. What a wonderful float from Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. The AKA's accomplishments and evolving goals are more than an interesting chronicle of college-based Americana, AKA Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Hello, ladies. Next, we have Go Red for Women, the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women team. There's nothing like a community band in full motion marching band. In full motion marching band is a program under Baltimore County Recreation and Parks. Known as Success in Motion, it's the first and only recreation and parks band program in Baltimore County. In full motion marching band. Every year, one of the crowd favorites is the Zydeco Country Cowboys and Cowgirls. This favorite equestrian group joins the Dr. King Parade as one of the few minority riding groups in the area. And I think they've mixed a little bit of urban with a little bit of country. One of the longtime sponsors of the Dr. King Parade, WBFF-TV Fox 45. Fox 45 Chief Meteorologist Vetus Reed should get a warm welcome from the viewing audience as he joins the parade to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's WBFF-TV Fox 45, one of the longtime sponsors of the ML King Parade Celebration. Next we have the MISR Temple Number 213. This Prince George's County group is one of the oldest African American fraternal organizations in the world. Next, we have Amerigroup Real Solutions in Healthcare. This unit has been a part of the King Parade for many years now. The goal of Amerigroup is to provide healthcare to the most vulnerable members of our society. Amerigroup Real Solutions in Healthcare is a managed care organization with an emphasis on the public sector healthcare market. Amerigroup Real Solutions in Healthcare. Nothing says a parade in Baltimore like our community bands. And one of the most prolific community bands in the city of Baltimore are the Baltimore Westsiders. Check out the famous Baltimore Westsiders in their bold red, white, and black. Under the fearless direction of Corliss Green, the Westsiders is a proud band representing the city of Baltimore. The Westsiders were the first African-American community marching band in Baltimore City. Let's enjoy the Baltimore Westsiders. The Afro-American Newspapers was established in 1892 by John H. Murphy, Sr., and is the longest-running African-American newspaper in the nation. 
During the paper's 116 years in existence, it has continuously provided news and information from the African-American perspective. The newspaper is now overseen by publisher and CEO John Jakey Oliver, Jr. The Afro has publications in both Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. The Afro-American newspaper. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity is the first intercollegiate Greek letter fraternity established for Afri African Americans. We now enjoy the Baltimore Metro chapter of Alpha. It was founded on December 4, 1906 at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York by seven college men who recognized the need for a strong bond of brotherhood among African American descendants in this country. Each year, the Alphas have participated in the annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade to honor Dr. King, who was a member of the fraternity. The day, today, the Alphas continue their commitment to programs such as partnering with the March of Dimes and Big Brothers and Big Sisters. The baddest Greek letter organization in the world, the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. It's always a pleasure to see my brother Alphas participate in the annual Dr. King Parade. The men of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated resplendent in their black and gold. I'm quite sure it'll be hard for any of the other fraternal organizations to top this, but we'll let them try. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was an alpha man and he's very well represented here today by Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Next, we have the TSU Dance Group. TSU Dance Group was formed on March 10, 2006 in Baltimore and has been on the road to success, to success ever since then. They have performed in Baltimore City and Baltimore County and have traveled to New York and hit the stage to open for comedian Ricky Shackelford. In addition, they have been background dancers in many music videos. Congratulations to the TSU Dance Group. Here comes the Radio One family. For the next generation, 92Q, Baltimore's number one station playing the most hip hop in RB, home of the new Ricky Smiley morning show. Magic 95.9, your official 30 and over station and the home of the Tom Joyner morning show and the DL Hughley show. Magic plays all the hits, everything from Luther to Jill Scott and all the good stuff in between. When it's time to get your soul nourished, Spirit 1400 is the right choice. To be well informed on what goes on in the Baltimore community and the nation, WOLB 1010 is the station to have tuned in. Radio One definitely has a station for everyone. Joining them are the Riverside Health of Maryland and Planned Parenthood. All a part of the Radio One Baltimore family. Planned Parenthood, who's partnered with Radio One, hosts Larry Young of the Larry Young Morning Show. Long supporters of the Dr. Martin Luther King Parade celebration here in Baltimore City. All right, we're going to keep on rolling. We're now one third into the 14th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Parade. And this banner is a quote from Dr. King that says, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. These are the very thought provoking words that can apply in almost any situation. And we're happy to see the Frederick Douglass High School Band from Baltimore, Maryland. Just as community bands are a vital part of the parade, so are high school bands. The Mighty Ducks, they are high-stepping, 
high school band adorned in orange and blue, and they've traveled up and down the East Coast and has performed as far away as Bermuda. Founded in 1883, some of Douglas High School's notable graduates are Cab Calloway, Thurgood Marshall, the group Drew Hill, and Kwaisi Ufume, former president of the National NAACP and congressman from Baltimore. The Frederick Douglass High School Marching Band. A can can make a difference. Together with outreach centers, soup kitchens, churches, and local government agencies, a can can make a difference has distributed more than 37 million pounds of food to needy residents of the greater Baltimore area. It's a name that's hard to forget. A can can make a difference. The exquisite international pageants and Mrs. Baltimore County. Exquisite international pageant is the first international pageant to be held in Baltimore. Every August, the exquisite pageant chooses five winners. Miss Exquisite Teen, Miss Exquisite, Ms. Exquisite, Mrs. Exquisite, and Mrs. Exquisite Classic. Women from all states and countries are invited to compete for the coveted titles. The pageant prides itself on having a platform for all ages, sizes, and ethnicities. Their beauty and intelligence celebrates the unique and diverse women of today. The exquisite international pageants and Mrs. Baltimore County. Next, we have Yellow Cab of Baltimore. Yellow Cab of Baltimore was established in 1909 and serves the Baltimore metropolitan area. If you are a passenger, you'll feel safe knowing that all of their drivers are professionally trained. As they continue to grow, their fleet contains 16 wheelchair accessible vehicles in addition to over 50 hybrid and 50 propane vehicles. They welcome entrepreneurship and are an equal opportunity employer. Yellow Cab of Baltimore. What's the old saying, good news travels fast? Well, they heard about the King Parade celebration here in Baltimore, all the way in New York City. Joining us today are the Marching Cobras of New York. The Marching Cobras of New York was established by Terrell Stowers in 2009. The mission of the band is to unite all New York City youth in the goal of gang prevention and bringing young men and women to music. The pride of New York has traveled to Rhode Island and Buffalo, New York, and is now it is known as the best show style band throughout that area. The Marching Cobras will perform for the 2014 Super Bowl at MetLife Stadium during the pregame festival and has also been selected to march through the Super, the Super Bowl trophy up Fifth Avenue. Please enjoy the Marching Cobras of New York City. One of the aims and ideals of Dr. King was to promote peace and also to resolve conflict. Joining us now is Community Mediation. Community Mediation offers services on conflict resolution, skills, mobilizes volunteer community mediators, and educates the public in order to reduce violence and improve communication in Baltimore. Community Mediation. Another great proponent of peace in the Baltimore region are Women in Black. Women in Black is an international peace network that originated in Israel in 1988 and has expanded to countries in nearly every continent. They wear black as a symbol of mourning for all victims of war and stand in silence because there are no words to express the horror of war. The Baltimore branch holds weekly peaceful silent vigils in the Inner Harbor. Women in Black Baltimore believes what will change our city is peace and nonviolence women in black. The Nelson Mandela float 
Baltimore City honors the legacy of former South African President Nelson Mandela with a float adorned in the colors of the South African flag. Drummer Carl Allen's music fills the parade route as he and members of Swing Five Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated greet parade goers. The primary focus of this organization is to work with young ladies who are pursuing a college education and offer them scholarships. With many young women across the planet who are not allowed to get an education, those that can should take full advantage of what a classroom can do for their future. The Nelson Mandela Float. I love the name of the organization, Swing Phi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. Coming right behind the Mandela Float are the new Baltimore Twilighters Marching Band. Originally founded in 1989, the New Baltimore Twilighters Marching Band focuses on education and career development. Members in this colorful group range from ages three to adult and have been able to showcase their talents all across the country, in addition to as far north as Canada. The Twilighters have won many accolades and awards, but their biggest accomplishment is taking back the streets one child at a time the New Baltimore Twilighters Marching Band. And the Twilighters are colorful in their white, their gold, their green. And they seem to be enjoying themselves as much as the crowd is enjoying them. The Baltimore Twilighters. Next comes Jerusalem Temple number four, ancient Egyptian Arabic order, Noble's mystic shrine of North and South America, and its jurisdiction incorporated. The Prince Hall Shriners of Baltimore, Maryland. Its membership is dedicated to the principle of fostering civic, economic, and educational development programs throughout Baltimore City. Their support provides financial aid to the B. Gaddy Women's Shelter and the annual B. Gaddy Thanksgiving Dinner, in addition to the NAACP and the United Negro College Fund the Jerusalem Temple number four. At the Jerusalem Temple number four, we have Sigma Gamma Rho. Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated was chartered at Butler University on November 12, 1922. The mission of their founders was to enhance the quality of life for their community. The ladies of Alpha Alpha Sigma chapter believe in serving the communities where they were nurtured, educated, live, and work. This chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho sets the standard for service and visionary strides with endless possibilities. Sigma Gamma Rho. The Baltimore Phil Berrigan Memorial Chapter Veterans for Peace. Veterans for Peace is a national organization of United States military veterans of all eras who have come to realize the futility of war and affirm greater responsibility to serve world peace. The Baltimore chapter was formed in 2003 and proudly bears the name of World War II veteran, former Baltimore priest and peace advocate, Philip Berrigan. The Baltimore Phil Berrigan Memorial Chapter, Veterans for Peace. It's just an absolutely gorgeous day here in Baltimore. We couldn't have better weather to hold another King Parade here in the city of Baltimore as we look both north and south, we see thousands of folks lined Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard celebrating the life, legacy, and vision of Dr. King. There's always a generational aspect to the attendees of this parade. We see grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren. Just a wonderful day for a parade. Next, we have the Rough Riders Horsemen. What's a parade without an equestrian unit? For over 30 years, the Rough Rider horsemen have provided a mutually supportive and positive learning environment where individuals have the opportunity to develop leadership skills, which foster self-confidence and personal growth. This equine group also gives back to the community in producing events such as Friends and Family Day, holiday toy drives, and feeding the homeless. They enjoy putting happiness into, into the lives of those less fortunate. The Rough Riders Horsemen. 
Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, founded in 1914 at Howard University. The men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated have exemplified the true meaning of brotherhood, culture for service, and service for humanity. Promoting scholarship and service are just a few ways to define the Sigmas. Sigma, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. A few famous Sigmas that have had an impact on history are George Washington Carver, former President Bill Clinton, an honorary member, Al Sharpton, and Harry Belafonte. Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. The Baltimore Entertainers Marching Band is an energetic, dynamic community band based in the Park Heights community. The Baltimore Entertainers, also known as BCE, burst on the scene in 2009 and currently has over 100 members. With over 200 parades under their belt, the Baltimore Entertainers have won various awards for performances and showmanship. As they strut down the street in their turquoise, white, silver, and purple, let's give a BCE hearty welcome to the Baltimore Entertainers Marching Band. The Baltimore Entertainers have not been around for a long time, but clearly they've had an impact on community bands. When you hear that drum line coming, you know you're in store for something, and the Baltimore Entertainers do not disappoint. The Baltimore Entertainers Marching Band. What a sound! Pan-Athletic Council of Metropolitan Baltimore, founded in 1930 on the campus of Howard University, members of the Divine Nine came together to unite the African-American Greek organizations in order to give them a stronger voice in mutual interest and problems. In the 1970s, the organization ceased to exist, but was restarted by the president of each fraternity and sorority, again, to continue to have a collective voice for issues in the African-American community. Behind them, we have the Providence Baptist Church under the leadership of Dr. Marcus Wood, who was a classmate of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., the Providence Baptist Church. The Baltimore Chapter 9 and 10 Horse Cavalry Association, the Buffalo Soldiers, main objective is to keep the legacy alive of African Americans who served in the United States Army during the Western expansion of the United States. In addition to other wars, including World War I and II, the chapter consists of members who are actual descendants of the Buffalo Soldiers, as well as veterans who served in World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam War, and Operation Desert Storm. Everyone loves the Buffalo Soldiers. Each year, the Dr. King Parade celebration here in the city of Baltimore just gets bigger and bitter, bigger. And we've been blessed with wonderful weather today, so so many folks have come out, not only to watch the parade, but the, the marching units are so much bigger this year than they've been in years past. Folks just want to be a part of this celebration to actually celebrate the life, legacy, and vision of Dr. King. And it's not just an opportunity to come out and have a good time, but it's an opportunity to talk about what Dr. King hoped for, what he worked for, to dedicate themselves to service. Many folks engage in some type of service activity before they come to the parade. Others engage in service activity after they leave the parade. So it really is a wonderful day here in Baltimore in celebration of the legacy and life of Dr. King. As we see the Buffalo Soldiers go by, we also see the most important men and women in the parade, those that follow the equestrian units, the Buffalo Soldiers and their team. Now we have Giant Food joining this year's parade for the first time, but a fixture in the Baltimore community for the past seven decades. Representatives from several stores are marching to help to preserve the legacy of Dr. King. A treasured partner in the community, Giant has donated more than 55 million meals to assist families throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. 
we have the Cub Scouts, the Girl Scouts, and the Boy Scouts, some of the oldest organizations in the United States. The Scouts in today's parades range from ages 6 to 18 and come from various troops throughout Baltimore City. Dream Nation Marching Unit, with 65 members ranging in ages from three and up, this group has established itself as a hometown favorite and even winning first place in the Rosedale Fireman Parade. Dream Nation Marching Unit. The Baltimore Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Through their foundation, they provide scholarships, and contribute to local charities annually. City Ranch Incorporated is Baltimore's nonprofit educational community horseback program. Their horsemanship program helps refocus children's behavior, challenging them to achieve. Their mission is to give Baltimore children lifelong memories and make horseback riding affordable and accessible to the greater Baltimore community. We're happy to have the Brooklyn Park Middle School Performing and Visual Arts Magnet School Vocal Music Program. That's a lot to say, but well worth it. Next, we have the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Now we have the Marching Elite Marching Band. Showtime! Bringing us a different twist from the Buffalo Soldiers is the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club. The Greater Baltimore Leadership Association, Greater Baltimore Ur Urban League Young Professionals. The Urban League and this organization was created to support the objectives of the Greater Baltimore Urban League itself. Its endeavors are to promote the quality of life for African Americans and other minorities in Baltimore City and the surrounding counties. We now have the Enoch Pratt Bookmobile. The Enoch Pratt Free Library is one of the oldest free public library systems in the nation. It is founded on the beliefs of Enoch Pratt that my library shall be for all rich and poor without distinction of color or race. The Enoch Pratt Bookmobile. This has been a wonderful celebration of the life, legacy, and vision of Dr. King. And as we see the Sandtown Infinity Marching Band winding down, we see on the horizon the Department of Public Works sanitation truck, which signals to us that the parade is coming to an end. But it's so good to see all of these young people, all of the community bands, celebrating the life of Dr. King. As the conclusion of the 14th annual Dr. King Parade celebration here in Baltimore comes to an end, we want to thank all of you for joining us, and we want to thank Foreman Mills, our presenting sponsor, once again. They've been a great community partner, and they've helped us to create a wonderful atmosphere in which we remember and celebrate the life the legacy and the vision of Dr. Martin Luther King. It's been my great pleasure to serve as host once again. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to next year, our 15th annual Dr. Martin Luther King birthday parade celebration. On behalf of Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake, Foreman Mills, the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts, and the Baltimore Office of Civil Rights and Wage Enforcement, Thanks again, and we'll see you next year.